today we're looking at Sean Bean, who is obviously a biological male as well, um, based on the energy in the eyes as well as the skeletal structure, the facial structure. You can see this person has a brow ridge, you can see this person has quite a lot of strength in the facial structure. This person, like Patrick Stewart, is also from Yorkshire. The strength of the jaw, the size of the ear, the length of the forehead, the spacing and prominence of the features, width of the mouth, all of these things look very masculine as does the skin quality and the beard quality. Typically on FTMs I find either they have difficulty growing a beard, or if they have a beard and it's full it tends to be very kind of fluffy and wispy. Again, the size of the ear looks very masculine. Adam's apple, this can be developed through uh, testosterone use, results vary, and it can be implanted using cartilage or other things, but this just looks natural to me. Again, Strength of the jaw, prominence of the cheekbones, strength of the brow bones, prominence of the features overall. This looks very masculine. You'd be hard pressed to find this kind of facial structure on a female. Prominence of the cheekbones, strength of the jaw and the chin, brow ridge, Adam's apple, and the energy in the eyes is very distinctly masculine. Now in past decades, they wore the trousers up this high, and this could have been something done in that time period to conceal the FDMs by making the males have their hips kind of flare out the same as a natural females would from that level. But you can tell that this person isn't actually, they don't have any flaring out going on past that point. They look like they have a very kind of straight, masculine looking body. There's nothing strange going on with the chest, just looks like a guy. Again, looks like a regular male, there's no pelvic tilt, the pelvis is small compared to the shoulders. He's not a very tall person, but he's very obviously masculine. Collar bones are quite prominent, which typically you don't find on females because females have a higher level of subcutaneous body fat than males. Again, this facial structure is just very obviously male. There's nothing strange with the back, nothing strange with the hips, natural Adonis belts. Again, the legs look masculine, the feet are really large, for a female this would be much too large. As with most males, he has more of a mass up here at the calf muscle and then it gets narrower at the ankle, whereas females tend to have more of a gradual curve, again because of higher subcutaneous body fat levels in females. There's more folds of skin on the neck because, again, he has lower subcutaneous body fat than the female. No curve in the spine, just very obviously male. The mass is all in the upper body. Shoulders appear to be broad and square. The pelvis is narrower than the shoulders. Straight legs, male Q angle. Again, shoulders wider than pelvis. Kind of rectangular, boxy male torso. Again, very masculine feeling face, masculine level of body fat, strong chin, strong jaw, prominent cheekbones, prominent brow ridge, prominent facial features overall, prominent Adam's apple, just everything about this person is male. The knees point more forward when walking. This is typical of males. FTMs typically try and tilt the knee outward and the toe outward and they push the opposite hip back when they do this. They have to do that to approximate the male cue angle. Because otherwise they will show that their uh, legs angle in to the knee from the hip. But this person just obviously has straight legs, straight torso, arms hang straight down because they don't have to make room for wider hips. The mass is more up in the upper body. Again, knees and toes point more forward when walking, legs step side by side as if straddling a line, whereas females step more one behind the other on a line. Mass in the upper body, smaller pelvis compared to shoulders, that's a male hip to shoulder ratio. Masculine facial traits, even though when people uh, age they often tend to Gain more fat in the face, males included. Even so, they still look obviously masculine. Um, although this person enjoys drinking a lot, and so often that will 
cause more kind of fat growth in the face as well. Um, but in any case, the legs are very clearly straight and masculine, and the hands are very masculine, more visible tendons, bulkier knuckles, overall size is just larger, and the person is distinctly not believable when in drag, um, very masculine face, male dental arch, upper lip, smaller than the lower lip, which is typical of males, not always the case, but more typical. Straight looking back, you still seem to see the Adonis belt structure, even with a paunch. There's no pelvic tilt, just a very straight body. I mean, look at that, that's obviously a very straight male spine. Males tend to gain fat around the midsection before anywhere else, whereas on females, first of all, it tends to go to the hip, thighs, and posterior, um, and then to the chest. But um, this is very male. Again, straight male back, straight male back, straight male back. There's no curving at the hips on either side, just very straight. So I would say that Sean Bean just exhibits typical signs of aging in a biological male, based on the skeletal structure, the energy, and the facial bone structure. This is just very clearly a male person, and that's that.